The popular saying two is company and three is crowd does not apply to the umbilical cord. The umbilical cord is composed of three vessels, two arteries and one vein. Single umbilical artery is also called two vessel cord. The absence of one artery can have significant consequences. Single umbilical artery results from congenital absence of one of the arteries. It occurs in 0.5 to 1% of singleton pregnancies. It is higher in twin gestation. Its diameter is greater than 50% of vein diameter. The two vessel cord is less coiled than a normal three vessel cord. There are two types. Primary or true type is where there is agenesis or atrophy of one artery early in development. It is usually associated with higher anomaly risk. Secondary is single umbilical artery. Here, initially, both arteries are present. However, one artery undergoes regressive change after thrombosis or atrophy. This is usually associated with fetal growth restriction. On ultrasound examination and Doppler study, there are two ways to look for umbilical vessels. In the transverse view, two vessel floating cord resembles a soda cap tab when the amount of water jelly is adequate. The Mickey Mouse sign is absent. In the longitudinal view, two vessel cord appears straight and non coiled. The best place to look for this abnormality is fetal bladder level. On transverse view of fetal pelvis, two arteries normally run on each side of the bladder. In single umbilical artery, only one artery is visible wrapping around the bladder. This is the best diagnostic plane. Always use color Doppler to confirm presence of only one umbilical artery on bladder view. Trace the artery cranially and caudally. Show typical single vascular pedicle entering the placenta. Here's a tip for you. If cord insertion looks suspicious, sweep cranially and check vessel branching. Presence of intra-abdominal umbilical vessels only on one side of the fetal bladder is a pathognomic sign of single umbilical artery. Single umbilical artery cord is associated with certain anomalies. These could be one, fetal structural association such as cardiac defects which are most common, renal anomalies such as renal agenesis, hydronephrosis, CNS abnormalities and gastrointestinal anomalies. Two, chromosomal associations are trisomy 18, 13 and occasionally Turner syndrome. Single umbilical artery cord without any anomalies has a good prognosis. Finding of single umbilical artery requires further follow-up, detailed anomaly scan, focusing on heart and kidneys, fetal growth monitoring every 4-6 to six weeks, umbilical artery doppler if growth restriction is suspected, and genetic testing if other abnormality is seen. In conclusion, single umbilical artery is a simple diagnosis, but missing it is not. Always check the bladder view, confirm with doppler, and evaluate the fetus thoroughly.